What's up guys, Tanner Larson here, and let's talk about the difference real quick between private labeling products and then OEM, okay? So, these are the two main things that are types of, you know, man product, man product manufacturing that people are going to be using uh, when they start going after and building their own brands and things like that. So, uh, there is a little bit of a distinction that we want to talk about, and that is, okay, so private label products are products that are already manufactured and that you are just going to put your label on. You're going to put your packaging, you may change the color or something like that. So, you know, the easy example is always things like the spatula, okay? There's already spatula manufacturers out there and you're going to create the Tanner Tastic spatula, all right? So I, it's the same spatula that everybody else is selling but with my brand on it. That's the basic type of private, private labeling. The other type of private labeling is when you take that product and you make very, very small, minor changes to it. Um, you may change the, the color or you may um, add a cushier grip or you may or do something simple simple like that. And that where, where the main product itself doesn't change, the manufacturing costs don't really change significantly and it still falls under that same private label line from that manufacturer. Why do you private label? Well, you private label because that way you can distinct, distinguish yourself from the competition better. You're not selling uh, Betty Crocker spatulas, you're selling the Tanner Tastic spatula, okay? You are the only competitor, only person who can be selling that Tanner Tastic spatula, so you can build in your own unique selling position or proposition and everything and really build a brand around it. I'm not actually saying go sell spatulas, okay? But it's just an example, all right? The other thing is, is that uh, because the products are already produced by the manufacturer, typically private labeling has much lower barrier to entry in terms of unit costs. So you're going to have a much smaller uh, minimum order quantity you're going to be required to order than if you were custom developing a product and having to buy and buying all of it because they're already producing it so many different times. All they have to do is take your batch and slap a different label or put it in different packaging. Uh, they're able to, you know, keep their manufacturing costs low and then pass on some of that savings to you. So that's one of the big things for why private label is such a good idea. On the other side of that is OEM, which is Original Equipment Manufacturing. Okay, this is where you actually have a product design and you want to have it come manufactured from scratch. It's your invention or maybe it's a product that you were private labeling that you want to make some serious improvements on and it's going to require some re-engineering or uh, new molds or new kinds of design work. So in that case, it's no longer a basic private label. You're actually having to do some uh, manufacturing, okay? Whenever you go into a custom or spin-off product like this that requires you know, a lot of work, that you usually fall into the, the OEM category. This is great. Uh, the problems with OEM are that you typically have a higher upfront cost, okay, because you you may have mold charges to, for the injection mold. You may have CNC charges. You may have R&D or design charges. There's a lot of little things that could hit you. Um, actually, not, maybe not so little charges that could wind up you know, hitting you when you start doing this. Should you do OEM versus private label? Honestly, we do both. I think you should do both. What I do say, though, is because OEM usually has a larger cost and there's a little bit higher risk in terms of you don't know if that product is actually going to sell because it hasn't been sold before, private labeling is a little bit safer starting out option. Uh, we do use a mix. We probably have 75% of our products are private labeled and we've, over the last couple of years we've started increasing the number of OEM products that we have. Uh, we'll, we'll never ever have all OEM products. It's just not going to happen. Um, and the private label ones are sell just as, just as well. They're just as high quality, everything. Um, but when we do find a good hole in the marketplace or a good opportunity, you know, we also have the cash reserves now to go out there and OEM a product so that we can bring something unique or significantly different to the marketplace to capitalize on that. So if you're just starting out, go ahead and stick with private label. It won't hurt you at all. Uh, if you're already established and you're already private labeling and you already have a significant business going and you're ready to move into o OEM stuff, that's great. Uh, and try to find a happy mix between the two. You know, make your money work for you the best you can. All right, guys? So that's the difference between private labeling and original equipment manufacturer. See ya.